So I was recently in a Ted Baker shop. I saw a dress in the sale there, which I didn't actually get. Underwear, which I've just laid down to the top of the edge of the fabric. Hi, Linda. That's the second row from top to bottom. It might be quite good to go clothes shopping with you. Hey, I've got one of the panels. Very pretty. Bones design. This is what it looks like so far and all joined together. I really like that. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a smocking piece. We're going to be doing a bones design and we're going to be using three different types of fabrics and going to be overlapping them. I'm just curious. I want to see how this could go. So shall we get straight into the video? So I was recently in a Ted Baker shop at Cheshire Oaks and I saw, I'll insert the picture now, I saw a dress in the sale there, which I didn't actually get, but it did inspire me because I looked at the combination of fabrics that were integrated in this dress and I just thought I really love how this designer has combined three different fabrics in one piece. So it gave me the idea that these are three fabrics that I really like and I thought they all go well with one another. So I thought if I actually just get them to be stuck to one another, so what I'll use is some bonder web, which I've used before. So we will just iron these two fabrics to this middle one here. I'm not sure of the order yet, but I think that may well be the order. And um, I'll show you how it comes out. So I don't know if you can see, but Layla has found her, one of her favorite spots over here, watching the birds. Look at her, ears forwards. So I've got the order and I've just trimmed off around the edges with pink and shears and then with the middle edges of the fabric this is going to be the back I've just cut with a normal pair of scissors as I don't want the pink and sheared edges on the fabric that I'm overlapping at all so those are the three that I'm going to do okay so I've cut up two bonder web strips here which is quite similar to the overlap that I want to do so I don't know if you've come across Bonder Web before, I have used it on this channel before, but basically you iron on the back where the paper is. And if you want to get two fabrics sandwiched together with the Bonder Web in between, it will seal and secure the two bits of fabrics together with the hot glue because the heat from the iron heats up this film of glue. So that's how we're going to do it. I've got my organza fabric here and I've also got my bonder web which I've just laid down over the top of the edge of the fabric where I want this to be stuck. I'm just lining that up. It's all a bit fly away <laughs> so bear with me. I've also put some baking parchment over the top of my ironing board because once this bonder web heats up, it does tend to go absolutely everywhere. Okay, I'm just ironing onto the paper. So this is what we've got and then you just pull off the paper, done both sides there and you're left with the film of glue so you can just grab your fabric and so all you do then is you're just going to iron this fabric over the top of the bonder web and it will stick to the fabric underneath which is exactly what I am looking for. Hi, Linda. Oh. Hello, you're watching. 
Okay, so I've ironed these two bits of fabrics to that centre one. This is the back, so I will just flip it over just to show you that's the front. So you can see that the Bondo web has just glued both of those down. Okay, so I remembered that I had some uh, one inch square grids drawn out on some paper with permanent marker. So I stuck that down to the table first and then I stretched out as far as I can go. With some masking tape, although the masking tape wasn't working too well, it's not sticky enough. So I put some sellotape down as well. And now I'm gonna just use my ruler and go over the grid as far as I can go. And then I'll need to move the fabric along again. Okay, so I have got the grid drawn on on this side. I've got to say, it's not the neatest work I've done here, but obviously this is all going to be steamed off later. I had to do this little section here on the organza fabric. I tried it with the friction pen, didn't go. I tried it with the water soluble pen as well, that didn't go. And now I've just gone on to using the Taylor's chalk. So I'm going to be doing the bones pattern. So that is the design there. You miss one, do another diagonal all the way down. Then you leave a gap and go the opposite way in between like so. Okay, so that's the bones pattern on all three bits of fabric. And those are the pens that I've been using and the tailor's chalk there. So I will get on cracking with this um, shortly. Okay, so we're going to start this bones design. So I threaded up my needle and I'm going to start up here on the top, top left. Small stitch. Small stitch. Give that a little tug. Pop another little stitch in there. Take my needle through the loop. Another knot for sure, like so. And I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to head down this first row here. bottom and that's what it looks like on the other side at the moment so I'll get a second row done just to show you what it's looking like Next update is, that's the second row from top to bottom down. That's what it looks like on the back. And then this is what we've got on the other side. Okay, I've got one of the panels done. That's what it looks like. It's kind of overlapped over onto the organza there a little bit with the stitching, but this is what it looks like so far. 
very pretty. Obviously, you've got to imagine it at the moment without any pen lines showing through, but that is the bones design. So yeah, looking good. And I will crack on with the next section. Whoopsie daisy. Obviously I've used the tailor's chalk on there, so I might have to apply a second layer to some of those lines. So I've got an idea which I'm thinking I'll probably do in the very near future with a video which I'm thinking that as you know I love shopping that it might be quite good to go clothes shopping with you, take you along and have a look at some of the fashions and trends that I like that I would personally try out buying in the future clothes, just things that I like that I'm not going to buy, but it's my taste. And then I was thinking that kind of like doing, I guess, my version of some of the different embellishments on fabrics and fabric manipulations and do my own sort of versions of them. Obviously, they'd be very different because I'd have different fabrics and I'd be using probably what I've got here. But I, I'm so interested in fashions and shopping that I thought it might be something that might interest you too. So I might give that a try. I'll at least try, edit a video, post it and see what you think. Is what I've just done here obviously that was the last one we did so I'll just flip it over to show you how that one's looking remember the pen is gonna come off I'm not gonna leave that on but that's where we're up to so far liking the combination look at those bits where the joins were I like those too So I'm on the last one here. Yay. Okay. I'm gonna have a look first. Yay. Right, I just need to get the pen off and then I will show you but it's looking good. This is what it looks like so far, all joined together. I really like that. That's cool. Right, I'll just get rid of the pen and we'll have a, another look again. So there we go, all three finished. I think it looks fabulous. Hope you like. That's the bones pattern, smocking design. Let's see the back. So I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here today and you've enjoyed this content. Don't forget to leave me a comment. If you've got any suggestions for any videos you'd like me to do, then do let me know and I shall see you in the very next video. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.